Hello, my name is Robbie Stroud from Nanaimo, BC on beautiful Vancouver Island. Um, I've established myself as an oil on canvas landscape artist specializing in preserving, protecting, and reconnecting people's memories. I would say it's not in our ability to paint, but and our ability to listen that makes our paintings different. Uh, how does it feel to be truly listened to? It's an astonishing feeling. Um, I'm what's known as a super feeler or an empath, uh, gifted with the ability to feel different emotions just like you feel static electricity on your skin. Through this ability to feel and listen to myself, the landscape, and um, someone looking to tell their story, we've created a style of expressionist painting unlike any other. Um, I would say Robert Boutique's style is as unique as I am, Robbie Stroud. We're known for our sense of depth and emotional tone. But more than anything, um, no one is telling stories on canvas like we are right now. Um, more than ever, it seems raising awareness for mental health and routinely practicing that is the direction we're moving toward in society. Um, no longer taboo, we're able to bring forward that mental health is equally important, if not more, than our physical health. We can look forward to mental health and routinely practicing it as something to look forward to, instead of the stigma that mental health only affects the sick or the depressed. It's the exact opposite. Like a runner training for a marathon, if you're not consciously and actively working at it each day, you're leaving yourself vulnerable, naive, and unprotected to injuring yourself and others around you. The more you train, the more you're able to protect yourself and the ones around you. And isn't that what we're all after? The ability to protect ourselves and the ones who rely on us to protect them. The quickest way we can begin better mental health outcomes is by first engaging in open, judgment-free communication. But why we're here today is to talk about engaging in art and triggering what's known as the flow state. And why is this important to me? Our brand, Robert Boutique, stands for three core principles. To preserve, to protect, and to reconnect. Mostly this means people's memories into oil on campus, but certainly to any degree we're able to raise awareness and help. It's important to us because these are the core values we embody. In the past two years, we've used art to trigger the flow state where we're able to reorganize, make sense, and ultimately heal from traumatic events that ultimately would have crippled our existence. Our family suffered an unbelievable loss. And by maintaining an ability to be in the moment through art and flow, we've achieved a state of mind that Buddhist monks meditate to achieve. An ability to not be in our own head, to be thinking of nothing at all so wrapped up in an activity that we become it, free from ourselves or anyone else. 
you could be your own worst enemy in an unwell state of mind. But by finding routines that engage mental health, and especially art, you set yourself up to be the best possible version of yourself. You will feel your best, you will love yourself the most, and you will perform at your peak potential. Instead of blaming yourself or others in times of trauma, you're mentally healthy enough to think critically, unbiased, and authentically reconnect with helping yourself. More importantly, helping the others around you who rely on you. It feels like we've discovered that mental health doesn't merely affect yourself. For better or for worse, your mental health affects everyone around you. It seems an easy realization then that if we all actively practiced better mental health and raised awareness to do so, we'd all live in a happier, healthier world. A more supportive, inclusive, and openly diverse society where we all have equal opportunity to be mentally well and happy. That's why we're here talking about this, raising awareness. People who don't train for races have no intention of running them. Therefore, a society who is not actively training daily mental health routines has no intention of becoming mentally healthier. Being mentally strong inspired the absolute best paintings of my career. It will inspire your best work and inspire your best self. In this state, you will not only be able to protect yourself, but you will finally be able to prevent harm in certain cases. I believe art helps because it provides a healthy form of escapism where consuming yourself with the activity relieves your mind from the hardships at hand. It provides an outlet to channel negative energy and repurpose it precisely like a mushroom in a forest does with waste. It consumes waste, breaks it down, converting it into a healthier energy, providing a happier ecosystem. Thinking globally and acting locally, we could apply art to all of our lives to help create a more expressive and emotionally happier society. It's going to be a better world we live in when you're creating art or contacting artists like me to help create it with you. Together, we can preserve, protect, and reconnect a world that seems a little more broken than it needs to be right now. By engaging in art, self-expressing through positive outlets, and triggering the flow state. We can all train mentally to be stronger inside. It seems easy to imagine that leading to a stronger, more positive world outside. It feels like nothing could be more wasteful than exactly what we have in front of us. Our potential and the time that we have left to leave this world a more positive place than when we found it. It's a persistent message to fight and to protect that which we are at risk of losing. My name is Robbie Stroud. This is how I find my bliss and this is where I find it.